Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Ili Nishmas, Rachalea Bas, Reb Chaim Svi. Today, Bezir Hashem, I want to discuss the connection between the Seder and Matan Torah, between the mitzvah of Tzipu Yitzias Mitzrayim and Matan Torah. You know, at the Seder, we're talking about leaving Mitzrayim, that's, you know, the focus, but we're going to see that there is a very strong, deep connection between the Seder and Mata and Torah, and it comes up in many places in the Haggadah. So first, let's, let's have the general introduction. Rav Salvechik Zatzal, the Rav, would like to say the direct goal of Yitzhak Mitzrayim was Kabbalah Satoru. The reason why Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim was in order for us to receive the Torah, on Har Sinai. That was the goal. That's, that's where we were going. If you're writing a book called Exodus, the Jews leave Egypt, so the last chapter would be about Matan Torah. The direct goal of Yitzhak Mitzrayim was Kabbalah Satorah. This is already, this is already in, the, in the Psukim. This is found in the Psukim. The, the, the Rav would like to quote, and it's a Pasuk again, we say it in the Parsha of Tzitzis, in Bamidbar. Perik Tezvav, Pasuk Mem Alef, Ani Hashem Elokeichem, Asher Otsesi Eschem, Mi Eretz Mitzrayim, Mi Yosachem Elokeim. I took you out of Mitzrayim in order to be your God. When did Hashem give us the mitzvahs and we, be, we became fully, fully His people? At, at, at Tarsina? Back at the beginning of Shmos, in Perik Gimel, when, when, Mo, when Hashem is, first talks to Moshe at the Sneh. So it says in Perik Gimel, Pasuk Yud Beis, Hashem says to Moshe, V'zelech ha'oz ki anochi shalach ticha, po'tziach ho'es ha'om mitzrayim, t'avdun es ha'olukim al ha'raza. When you take the people out of Egypt, they will, you will worship, and they, B'nai Yisrael, will worship Hashem on this mountain. Hashem refers already before Yetzirah Mitzrayim, before Yetzirah Mitzrayim, that the zuchus that Am Yisrael has to leave Egypt is that they'll receive the Torah on Harsina. Rashi spells this out. And Rashi says, he says, Sha'alta, Hashem says to Moshe, you asked, Ma zechus, what's the zechus Am Yisrael has to leave Mitzrayim? They're going to receive the Torah on Har Sinai. That's the goal. That's why I'm taking the matter of Har Sinai. That, and that is their zechus. The direct goal of Yitzhak Mitzrayim was to receive the Torah. One of the most powerful Makaros along these lines, is the Sefer HaChinuch in Mitzvah Shinvav, the Mitzvah of, the Mitzvah of Sfiras HaOmer. There's a Mitzvah of Sfiras HaOmer, we count, starting from the second day of Pesach, up until Shavuos. What's the idea? So the Chinuch explains, in the reason for the Mitzvah, the Shoresh, the root, the reason for the Mitzvah, the Chinuch explains, that the whole Iker, the whole essence of Amisol is to receive the Torah. So when we're counting from Pesach up until Shavuos, the idea is when you count from one thing to another, you show they're connected. Counting from one to the other. So we're showing there's a connection between Pesach and Shavuos. Pesach we left physically. But the whole goal, the whole ikr of the Yitzir from Mitzrayim was to get the Torah on our Sina. So Sfira Omer reflects this notion, this idea that the purpose of Yitzir Mitzrayim was to receive the Torah on our Sina. The, the Chinuch writes, Mishar she'a mitzvah, Ufi she'akol ikaran she'a Yisrael eno el ha-Torah. The entire main element of, of life of, of Am Yisrael is the Torah. Ufi b'nei ha-Torah nibu shemayim v'aretz. Hi ha-ikar v'hasiba she'nig'alu v'yatsu mi Mitzrayim. And this is the main reason why they were rescued and taken out of Mitzrayim. K'day she'ikabu ha-Torah b'sinai v'yikamuah. He says it black on white in order to receive the Torah on Arsina and keep the Torah. Ukmo Shamar Hashem, the Chinuch quotes the Pasuk in, in Shmos Perak Yimel. Vizelach haos kenoche shalach ticha, Bootsiach hasam yivitzayim tabun asakim ha'alu harazeh. Uperish ha-Pasuk. Hootsiach haosam yivitzayim, Yel haos shetabdun asakim ha'alu harazeh. Chloma shetikabu ha-Torah. Shehi ha-ikr ha-gadol, that's the reason. Sheh bishvil zeheim nigolin. And that's the ultimate good that they're going to receive. Oh, 
And this is more. And here the Chinuch makes a point. Vinyan Godahulam. This is a very important point. Yoser min achayrus meyabdus. This is more than just the physical freedom from slavery. It's very good. We we became physically free. That's the that's the physical geula. But the ultimate goal was the spiritual geula to receive the Torah on Har Sinai. And to show that that's the goal, we count from Pesach up to Shavuos. This is the famous Sefer Achinuch in Mitzvah Shinvav by the Mitzvah of Svira Sa'omim. Oh, so this is the Yisod. So what we're going to see then is, and what I want to show, Bez Hashem, there are many, many parts of the Seder where we find links and hints to Matan Torah within the Seder. I, just, I think we'll, we'll, we'll go in order, and as we go along, we'll discuss the various hints, and we'll see that throughout the Seder, Mamash came out from the beginning and really beyond the end, as we'll get to, Bez Hashem, probably in the next year, from the beginning beyond the end 